Welcome back to the video training on how to create an e-commerce enterprise using Volusion. In video 2, we're going to cover choosing a site template for our store, customizing our site template with a logo, and I'll show you how you can change the home page image if you want to change it from the template. Before we move forward and actually look at how we do this in Volusion, let's talk a little bit about the purpose of our demo store for this training. We're going to use a concept of a store called Things That Make You Smart. This store will offer products and services that are from the areas of nutrition, fitness, academics, and spirituality, all with the purpose of making you smarter. So with that concept in mind, we're going to go ahead and choose a template that kind of goes with this theme, and then I've created a small logo that will add to the site so that you could do this in your own Volusion store. We can change our template in the design menu and then choose template. What's another great feature of Volusion is that it offers you hundreds of templates to choose from so that you can have a professional looking store in a matter of minutes. When we get to the templates page, we see that there are 329 templates available for us to use. You will see quickly, though, that not all of them are free. If you just want to look at the free templates that are available, do a search, just click on free under the price option, and it will automatically load the free templates. We now have 147 templates to choose from, so that's a lot of options. I've already looked through these just to save time, and I think that the nutrition template would look really nice for our particular site, things that make you smart. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the, the little button that says get it. And what this will do is it will add the template to our saved templates area in our admin site so that we can activate the template and that will become our store. It will take a second to go to the saved templates area. And then we can click on save templates, find it in our list, which it was called nutrition, and we're going to click on activate. Okay, this is now our active template, and we can view our storefront here from the templates page, and we can always view our storefront from here in the upper right-hand corner of our admin site where it says storefront. So when we click on that, it takes us to the template we've chosen, which is nutrition. has a really good look to it, and I think this will be nice for us to format using our products and services. But the first thing we need to do is change the logo. Right now it's just a standard text. We can go back and do that from our Volusion admin site under the design menu, and then we click on logos. If you don't have a logo pre-designed or you haven't purchased one, then you could keep it text if you needed to get your store up and running. I created a small graphic and I'm going to browse to that graphic. I actually had to make one smaller in dimensions because if you notice on the side, this is what the recommended sizes are for your website logo, for your invoice, and if you want to use something for a mobile app or a favicon. I'm going to click replace and it's made my logo smaller. I'm going to use this for my invoice logo. This is a great way to really start to build your brand identity and to look really professional because when you sell a product on Volusion, the customer will instantly receive an emailed invoice and your logo, if you choose to add it here, will be added to that invoice. So that's a really nice feature. Okay, we can go back to our storefront and take a look at it with the logo. And it looks like it still may be a little too high for this particular template. So maybe 120 pixels high was a little bit too high. So I can shrink that down and make it a little bit smaller. And then I'll update it. But before I do that, let's take a look at what if this image was not appropriate or we wanted to put something else. We love the template, the look, the colors, the buttons, the menu options, but we want to change the home page image. I personally think that this image will work great for our store because it kind of makes you feel the theme or the purpose of the site, which is things that make you smart. So we're going to keep it. But if you wanted to change it, you would simply click on the edit button in your storefront, click on easy editor, and then click your image button at the top and you would browse to locate the image using the folder and do it that way from your local workstation. I won't do it there. Okay, that concludes video two. In video three we'll cover how to create content specific pages for our business such as the About Us page.